All right. So they're gonna start on FD. Oh, oh no, it's re rearranged. Well, we've seen this matchup plenty of times. Puff against Fox. Puff is just gonna try to put up Great Wall of China with her back here. And Fox is just gonna try to get in. I think one thing that's been consistent with uh, Scott in these past few matches is you see that he plays for stage control. He's continuing that habit right now. Ooh. Good shine spike, catching uh, Puff's last jump. But let's Puff come back to stage. So we, oh, I thought that was a resp. I mean, this seems to go back and forth right now. Um, both of them seem to have missed setups, but is that going to cost? No, it won't. I think they're playing a bit sloppier than usual. You know, I've seen some conversions they usually hit that they haven't hit right now. Ah, oh, look at that. That was the, the fabled air dodge off stage, the invisible Randall, but he's not there. Not on this stage. So he's gonna play some uh, some nerf. They're shit talking each other while they play. Oh, but that's not gonna kill. No smash DI. I thought he was gonna catch that with an up air. Good shorten. So you can see that both players are just trying to get stage control. It's really, it's a slow paced game. You know, kind of one waits for the other, tries to keep center stage. A lot of full hop approaches from Scott. Oh, now they're just waiting. Standing there menacingly. Ooh, and the jab to up smash. Going to connect. Can Ed shift into maximum overdrive? Alright, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna go roll out. No, I guess he's not. That's usually one ballsy thing that'll try to finish a stock. Ooh, good smash DI. He got that. Oh, oh, Ed's like, the set's over. Is it? Is it over? There we go. He's going to put up a tent over at that ledge. Get very familiar with it. Scott's completely content to just fire his lasers, shoot to whoop it up over in the center stage. Oh, lovely. This is the melee we all like to see. Ooh. bit of a risky F smash trying to read either the tech in place or the tech in. I'm not sure if that would have covered tech to the edge of the platform. But you see that Ed's kind of brought it back. Not necessarily like super close, but definitely, you know, winnable. He's either going to need a rest early and oh, oh, bad DI. No DI. He just got booted across the screen. That was like Baju's free kick when they played Brazil in the World Cup final and lost. Actually, that's fitting because I think Ed's Italian. So, aha! Is this, is this, is this history repeating itself? Let's find out. Oh, that was a ballsy pound. Scott just running around menacingly, shooting him in the face, point blank. Oh, but it's the, the little puff ball that could. Oh, shit! Well, that was a very, very imperious ending. Imperial ending. Fitting, because uh, actually Ed's tag for this tournament is Constantinople.
So we're going to find out if uh, the Roman Empire is going to fall. Oh, he said, wait, 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 wait. Oh, Cameron, he's asking, should he go Ices? Should he go Ices, Cameron? He, he's going to FD. Should should Ed switch to Ices? He wants to know from you. What? What? Oh, he said he said fine. Never mind. He's gonna he's just gonna play it out as Puff. Oh, Cameron said do it. <laughs> oh well, he decided to just go for the Puff. Well, chat, the real the real tech skill is that uh, I had a take-home midterm today. Did all of it in the two hours before bracket, and I finished it in between matches. Well, Ed gets a nice rest, takes an up smash. It's kind of like more of the same that we've seen. We just gotta, just gotta make sure that Scott doesn't go too far below, because... Ed was, I believe, two stocks down, and he still managed to come back, you know, getting a early percent gimp off of an F smash. Almost. Mate, calm down, all right? I'm going to need you to take those panties and loosen them, okay? Three shots, three hits. That is 100% accuracy. That is a sharpshooter medal. Oh, there it was. Oh boy. That could have been bad. No, oh, no, no. Someone was someone was saying, "Nick, you should you have an hour and a half to finish your midterm. You should do that last question right now." And I was like, "No, calm down." You know, loosen up those, loosen up those trousers. All right, it's, it, you gotta get your panties in a bunch. But um, anyways, back to the match. So one of the biggest improvements that we see is that Ed is wearing a pink shirt, so he's purposefully matching his character. Oh, there we see it. Ah, uh, no. Another F smash to the face. We saw a scenario very similar to this. Last game. It only takes one gimp. Ooh. That was an intimidating duck. This Jigglypuff looking at Fox in the face. Staring there menacingly. Ooh. Up smash trade with the pound. And Scott takes game two. So this is a 1-1 game now. And Scott bans Fountain. So Ed, let's see if he goes with that classic. Is he going to go Yoshi's? Yoshi's sounds like a weird counter pick, but he always wins when he goes on Yoshi's against tops. Let's let's find out. Unless he's going back to FD with Ices. Going. Where are they going? There's no one to play friendlies with. He's going. Ah, I knew it. He's going to Yoshi's. This is Fox's counter. Yeah, this is uh, this is the only two people where the puff will counter pick Yoshi's. Wait, this is not Fox's counter pick. No, this is Ed's counter. Ed, Ed always wins on Yoshi's. Doesn't make any sense. This is Ed's stage. Yoshi's and Pokemon have a low ceiling. That, that's wonderful. This is Ed's stage. Okay, I'm just saying. Can you explain? Ed just does really well against Top. Cameron, side. he wanted my. Jonathan's panties. To I lose. already explained oh, the joke. Fuck, fuck you, Nick. Um, okay. So why does Ed like Yoshi? Because he always beats oh, yeah. Scott on this That's stage. That's not a valid reason. Like why? Oh, you're right. It's not a valid reason. What, what I'm are... saying is like his play style. I mean, if he always beats Scott on this stage, it's probably a good reason to Can choose. Can you it. extrapolate why he always beats Scott on this stage? I don't know, man. Right, really nice, Later, Tanwad. Well. This is looking a bit uh, one-sided right now in Scott's favor, getting some nice shuffle nares across stage. He's really dominating the stage control game. That's kind of what's been consistent in all the games. That's what he's been trying to do, just take stage control, force Puff to approach him. Oh, there's the rollout. He didn't release it in time. 
He's looking really dominant. He's just got his aerials on point, playing very fast. I don't know if that was DI or what. I feel like the rollout should have had more knockback. Well, um, there's not really much happening on screen, you know, he's practicing his tech skill, the short hop double lasers, running back and forth. Maybe they're playing tag. Maybe they're trying to, you know, get one hit, run away from the other guy, because they're not trying to be it. You know, the shy guy's coming in, just saying what's up. And they're back to the ledge. Yup. Ooh, clipped with, the, clipped with the down tilt. That was that could have been very bad if he accidentally did that off stage. So we want to remember this is Yoshi's. You know, people can still die rather quick off the side, and oh, it is even. It is absolutely even. Is Scott gonna keep? Is he gonna break the curse of losing on Yoshi's to Puff? Ah, oh, that that. Wow, he has been diing that every time, except that time. It only took one. It only took one. Now, honestly, I can see Ed. He's he's got to make that legend's best friend. He's gonna he's gonna be there. He's gonna, you know, you see Puff peeking a little bit over. I think Scott has to has to keep his mindset, keep that stage control game. You know, Puff can't do much while she's at the ledge and he's pestering her with lasers. He just has to be sure he's always diing, you know, in some direction because he he doesn't want to get up thrown with no di. That'll be the end of him. Ooh, I think that was a single hit uh, up air, but he landed before he got the second hit. Nice drill and up tilt. So we got a last stock situation. Well, you can see both of them are kind of getting a bit more personal now. They're not standing on opposite ends of the stage. No, oh, no, that was because Jonathan was like, finish your midterm, and I'm like, calm, your, 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 don't get your panties in a bunch. Oh, he missed the F, F smash. Oh. I think this is, this is this is kill percent, right, for Puff? Um, if if for, up, be, for up smash like, off the top? Yeah, it's not quite like... Oh, this is, you just gotta fix this edge guard, get the edge guard. No! You know, I, th I think he's just looking for... Oh, there we go! And Scott beats the Puff on Yoshi's, finally.